Alright, so I decided to go with uh, Aeolus. Um, this is the colony that I'm going to settle. So this is going to be our volatile producer and then later on our fuel producer. So we're going to establish a colony and we're going to name this one Tortuga. Uh, that's a name based out of the list that was provided to me a couple of episodes ago. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a gas giant. It's right next to Nassau. Um, and I believe um, I believe you can use its domain artifact on any gas giant regardless of the other modifiers it requires uh, it only needs to be a gas giant alright so um, normally we go with mining first but I'm just gonna go with fuel production and the reason being is we can just we can create a trade route with Umbra. Uh, well, it'll happen automatically, but Umbra produces a lot of volatiles. Um, so if we just build fuel production right now, we'll be able to import volatiles for the current being. And then um, later on, we'll be able to produce our own volatiles. So we're gonna go ahead and build that. A uh, spaceport's gonna get built. And then if we go into the command screen, we can enable Freeport. Oh. It's going to require at least one day to pass. And in the meantime, um, while we wait for that day to pass, uh, we have some invasions that we need to address. So I got a little uh, greedy and I ended up taking uh, Betas as well. I invaded Betas. And apparently when you invade uh, independent colonies, the AI really doesn't like that. So, um, yeah, we gotta fight those invasions. This is not gonna be easy to do. Um, these are like big fleets. And there's three of them. Uh, we do have a little bit of time to prepare, but honestly not much. Anyway, one day passed. Um, we can go into the command screen, we can go to Tortuga, and now we can enable Freeport, even though Spaceport isn't built yet. And that'll just increase our accessibility. Alright. There's one! Coming from Sindria. Uh, it says superior and ground forces are evenly matched. They're invading Betas. Uh, Hedge has one fleet. Persians are invading Tartessus, which is interesting. Um, space forces are considered superior, ground forces are evenly matched. Okay. All right, let's hang out here. Um, I think we can fight one invasion fleet in hyperspace and then the other two will fight um, near, especially the Persians, will fight near our uh, newly upgraded orbital station. Looks like we have our first invasion fleet. This is Sindria. So, uh, yikes. Um, two conquests is nothing to laugh at. Um, this is going to be a very annoying fight. They have a lot of fighters. Thankfully, they're just drovers. They're not herons. Um, and then they have a fury and eagle which is just gonna waste a lot of time hmm. 
Yeah, this one's gonna be tough. Um, I think the strategy of destroy the conquest if you get an opportunity, um, but otherwise work small to big, will work here. It's just really tough. Uh, the biggest thing that's gonna help us is keeping the fleet together. All right, let's give this one a try. I mean, yikes, man. Uh, level five and level six officers in those conquests. Right, let's move into engage. We don't really care so much about holding the objectives, we just need to capture them so that we can bring in our other uh, conquests, or our other colossus. Alright. We're gonna cancel these two orders, so we don't really care anymore. Um, for the time being, I'm going to put myself on autopilot, and I'm going to start issuing commands from the tactical screen. Renegade. Hmm. I don't know if I want to give you an engage or an eliminate command. Give you an engage command, and uh, we'll put all of our Colossus on it. All right. We should be good there. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a monitor. I think we can give some eliminate commands. To our eradicators, just so they can go after those drovers. Conquest. Okay. Let's upgrade this to an eliminate order now that we remove most of the threats. We'll put these three on that. Uh, you can focus on this fury. You're going to cut across the battlefield and deal with that. Uh, hopefully you can deal with that lasher. We'll see. And we're going to turn around, pivot, 
and see if we can't get rid of this conquest as soon as possible. Of course, we're going to need our engines. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and have everybody dogpile this conquest. Um, I'm going to fly across the back, get rid of this drover, and then scoop, start scooping up the rest of these ships. Uh, we should be good to go. I have these Colossus just focus on that shade. And maybe one day that Eradicator will get rid of that Lasher for me. I don't know where it went, and I wasn't paying attention, but I don't know what happened to the enemy second conquest. I assume we destroyed it, but I really wasn't paying attention. I think I said one thing and then just did the complete opposite. Still work. The lasher yet lives. We'll just claim victory here. Uh, looks like we get a second round of combat, so we're going to be able to take out uh, these ships. Yep. Um, for this, it doesn't matter. We won't use the Renegade, and we won't deploy the frigates. Deploy all um, the Eradicators. We'll push them all the way to the front. And then everybody else can... Nah, I mean, yeah, I'll figure it out. I was gonna say most of their face ships should have no CR. So this afflictor in shade should start malfunctioning pretty soon.
Are you about to die too, an afflictor? Let's get you up to the front. Wolf is disabled. Awesome. Let's also get you up to the front. I guess we'll waste our time chasing down this afflictor. Um, I positioned everyone up here, um, I showed this before, but, uh, I guess if you don't have, if you don't eliminate all the ships, then the, uh, the freighters don't join the battle at the very end. That's fine. Pursue them, we'll let our second in command handle this. Nothing we want to take. Uh, actually, we do want the Phaeton. Um, as far as our character skill goes... Take tactical drills. Alright, let's go ahead and repair. And this looks like another invasion fleet. I'm not sure what ship you'll pilot with energy weapon mastery, but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, gonna re-implants, so let's actually put you in the capital ship. And I think that's it. We need more officers. <laughs> You know what? For right now, sure. Mm. 
You're just tanky. <laughs> Do I care if I make one of my eradicators tanky? I don't think so. Alright, maybe not. Looks like this is the hedge. Nope, this is Persian. Um, Persian's gonna attack. The Persian's gonna attack our station. But there be there'll be two fleets. I think we have to fight one solo and then we can fight the other one with the help of our battle station. Again, two conquests, three champions. Champions are a lot better to deal with than eagles. Um, that apogee is annoying. Uh, but the Sunders are nothing ships. There's no phase ships, so this should be a very... Sh as far as, like, frigates go, this should be an easy fight. Then forces we're gonna have to bully. Alright. Uh, officers and all three champions, of course. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh. Mm. All right. So blessing. Uh, these champions are all built with uh, PD, uh, Paladin PD, in their large energy slots, and they also have a mix of locusts and hammers. Locusts are a threat, um, but if they don't have ECCM package, which This one, okay. Uh, none of them have ECCM package, so this sh the locust will be mostly wasted. Uh, we just have to pay attention and move when we start hearing the the shots go off. Uh, this apogee has integrated targeting unit, so uh, that beam from the high intensity laser is going to be very long. Um, they don't have advanced optics though, which is good for us. And then finally, uh, the conquests have Typhoon Reapers, so that's really, really good. I mean, not that good, but um, it just means that we don't have to deal with Squalls and Mervs. Uh, so overall, we got lucky with this composition. This fight might not be too bad. We do have to pay attention though where we're going. But uh, I'm I'm a lot more confident now. Um, let's pull you back. Deploy you three. Yep. Uh, this isn't a full assault situation, but it. It's pretty close once we get rid of some of those thunders and we get rid of some of the, uh, most of the frigates. Yeah, we got really lucky with those bad ship builds. Not a single overdriven or assault. Alright. After this, we need to look at it. Adding some uh, frigates of our own to this to this fleet. All right. So as far as engage orders go, oh, we can cancel you. We can also just bring in the rest of our ships. We can cancel this order. Uh, you should be able to deal with that. Likewise, you should be able to deal with that. Uh, we're gonna put engage orders on all of the champions and the Sunders.
the Apogee might be a waste of time, but we'll see if we can do anything with that. And then also, we'll put engage orders on the enforcers. Um, nah, I don't... Yeah, I don't need an Eradicator dedicated to a wolf. That seems like a really bad uh, use of resources. And then, as far as this group goes, I'm going to group you guys to group 4. I'm going to send group 4 to bully one of the conquests. Right. Let's go ahead and start working on these Sunders. That's the Locust spam I was talking about. rush down this apogee and get rid of it that's one less locust that we have to worry about as far as how feasible it is we'll see that Apogee didn't have hardened shields it just had um, it just had stabilized shields get rid of some of these frigates also the conquest is gonna waste a lot of time trying to line up its reapers which is really good for us I think I'm just gonna sneak all the way back and just pop up down here. Again, because of no ECCM package, it's going to be relatively easy to dodge those reapers. We just have to pay attention. Issue an engage order here, and then group four, we're going to go ahead and issue that eliminate order. Um, everything else should be good to go. Yep. Uh, their champions are just useless. Trying to create an opening for the rest of our fleet. Uh, 
We can upgrade these to eliminate orders. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the difference between engage and eliminate is with eliminate they're more likely to use their missiles. Both of you focus on that. Back off entirely. to focus on that. This champion. This champion. Um, I can't get closer because I can't really expose my flank to uh, this wolf. I don't know where your CR went. That's spicy. Uh, we'll have you pivot back over here. Maybe...
Ugh. I died trying to go save that eradicator. Alright. Let's just back up. Conquest retreated. Uh, so really it's just dealing with these um, small ships. So we're going to do something like this, see if this works. Uh, the Renegade sh should be able to get rid of a wolf. I'm just gonna shoot full assault order. See if we can get rid of that tempest. Maybe? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, we got it. Nice. Alright. So claim victory, we'll recover our ships. A very rough fight. Uh, we're gonna need to borrow some some crew. But I will pick through the wreckage here. And uh, we'll deal with that in a second, but for right now, we need to go... Uh, we need to definitely repair, and we need more crew. Alright, let's just borrow... A thousand... And five hundred... And then the other one we can fight near oh. 
I would love that champion. Uh, the other one we can fight near. Oh, nice. Tartessus, when it lands. Alright. So we have Hedge in the system. That's probably them now. And that's probably the other person one. So this one should be a much easier fight. Um, Conquest, Dominator, Griffin, and an Eagle. Uh, just one Conquest compared to the rest of the two Conquest fights that we did. Should be a lot easier. Um, we just have to bully it once, get rid of it, and then the rest of this fleet should fall apart. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, this fleet should be close enough that they'll join us. Yes. Yep. So they'll join us. Um, this should be a... This should be a very easy victory. Um... We just have to focus down the conquest, and then the rest of the fleet should fall apart. Uh, do we want to take over any other ship? Not really. I think we're doing well in the Eradicator. So we'll go ahead and deploy all. Uh, no need to even bother with the objectives. Nobody messes with Captain Jack Sparrow and his crew. Even if the reason why you're messing with us is because we stole your... Uh, I was gonna say island, planet. Alright. So we're just gonna use um, engage orders to keep the fleet together. And then um, our renegade and... Colossus, we're going to use to uh, take down their conquest. Should be pretty easy. Uh, these Sunders are made out of paper. Uh, we just have to get close enough to them. Well, let's get rid of this Drover. I think I hit a fighter that deployed, and the fighter ended up uh, chaining the Reaper explosion. That's pretty cool. Falcon disabled, huh? Okay. So says you. Wasting our time fighting those monitors. But uh, really, we're just using them to hide out. From the, uh, from the conquest. Alright. I did not mean to do that. Alright. 
You... Right. You need to be on that. Group four, you need to go do that. That should be fine. And then I'm actually gonna grab these eradicators and just have them also dogpile the uh, the conquest. Then they can go back to the engage orders. Dominators should be joining the fight. We'll just issue a single engage command. And uh, that should take care of that. Go full assault. Have you two jump on that? Have you two come jump on that? ourselves on autopilot. Let's see what's going on here. Nice. Nice. Pursue them. What our second in command to handle it? And then we'll recover our. F oh, we lost an eradicator. I didn't even realize that. Ugh. Again, such wonderful ships that I would love to recover. Unfortunately, we cannot. Uh, we'll leave them behind the wolf. Take the supplies and crew. And then there was one. Yep, should be one invasion fleet left. Okay, that's unfair. Um, we 
Where'd you get a third fleet from? Invasion failed. We fought off Syndria, and then there was Tartessus, which had two fleets. When I, I destroyed one fleet... I'm actually going to put the AI core in the battle station. And uh, that, I think that makes it spin faster and also gives it more combat readiness. <laughs> and we're going to try to win this fight as well. Um, I noticed that this episode is going on an hour long. I'm going to cut it here, but uh, in the next episode, we're going to take on this task group, which, now that I look at it, is not an invasion fleet. So we don't actually have to fight this. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, we do have one, I guess that would be this one. We do have one person in fleet that we need to fight, and because this one's at the station um, already, we're probably going to have to go out and fight that one manually uh, without the support of our battle station. Unless we want to fight this and then fight them. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, other than that, Grumpy out.